Hey guys, welcome to another Yak Fish TV production. I'm Robert Field. Today I'm here with my buddy George Saber and Henry Martin, and we're hoping to catch some monster alligator gar from our kayaks. So these fish range anywhere from about 30 pounds up to 300 pounds. So having one of those jump on your kayak would obviously be a disaster. So we're using carp for bait. Um, Buffalo is best, but any carp will work. We've got a big fresh one that we caught last night, but really our best chance at hooking into a monster is to catch some really fresh bait. So the basic strategy with these fish is now that I've got a bait out, I want to set my drag as loose as possible. I want there to be no resistance when he picks up that bait so he doesn't know that something's up. And basically, when that fish takes the bait, he's going to run in a straight line and try to get away from other guard to keep them from taking the bait out of his mouth. And then after a while, he's going to stop. And that's when it's crucial that you're patient. You have to wait until he turns that bait around and starts to swallow it. And then you crank down the drag and set the hook because otherwise you'll never set the hook in their mouth because it's all bone. And then all hell's gonna break loose. Let's catch us a dinosaur. You got fish on. He didn't run too far, he ran over here and stopped. We're not sure if he's chewing or if he dropped it or what. But we're gonna give it a minute, see if he starts moving again. If he has it still, he's not moving. It's driving me nuts. He doesn't feel that big. I'm not even sure. Oh, there he is. Now he knows it. Woo! Oh, he spit it. No! I cannot believe that fish was still on there, dude. I now believe you when you say 10 or 15 minutes. Had my first alligator gar and first jump, he spit the bait, which means I didn't wait long enough for him to eat it but the fact that we've been out here for literally three minutes with baits in the water and already had a run, that's a good sign for today. Man, that was a rush. Oh, yeah. We're in for an adventure today. Let's get some more baits in the water, hook up to another one. Got a fish on, he ran with it. Now he's sitting still again, just like the other ones did. This time I'm gonna give him some time. Here goes nothing. He's on. Oh yeah. I'm gonna try to do this. I'm gonna try to take it. Oh! He knows it now! Oh dude. There's the leader dude. He's right here. Oh man, I'm nervous. I don't like him being this close to the boat this early in the fight. Man, when he wants to go, dude, this drag is set tight. He's going. Man, he's right under the boat. All right, so we're going to use this rope to get around his head so we can control the fish a little better and land him. <laughs> Woo! That is a small one. I don't think he's happy about what's going on. <laughs> I don't think he likes me, man. Oh, yeah, it stinks. Oh, shit. Woo! Down. Let me see if I can get this. Oh, my God. That was insane. You alright? Yeah, no, I'm alright. He yeah. came pretty close to my leg though. Dude, what? That thing is in fresh water? Are you kidding me, man? All I wanted was one shot of me holding it, man. That was too much to ask. That thing is so strong, like when you're holding it, man, you can just feel the power, the muscle of those things. How much things that weighed? That was a 30 pounder. And we might catch 150. I literally cannot even imagine a fish three times that size. 
I'll be honest, I just lost a lot of confidence in these. <laughs> All right, well, uh, second fish, I managed to get it in the boat. It's only about a 30 pounder, but uh, that was almost more than I bargained for right there. That was intense, man. Fighting these fish in the water is one thing, but once you get them in the boat, that was scary, dude. Yeah, it smells awful. <laughs> Well, I didn't catch the uh, monster 100 pound gar that I came here for, but I did get one in the boat, and all in all, it was a blast. I will definitely be back next year to try to hit that three digit mark. Now check out this preview of the sequel to this episode when I head back to the Trinity and do battle with some true river monsters.